Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Zero Dark Tony Show. I am Tony D, your host. Welcome once again to my Greetings, everyone. Welcome channel. Welcome to the Zero Dark Tony Show. I am Tony D, your host. There we go. We're coming through five by five. Good morning to everybody around the world, from the pineapple to the big apple, from Maine to Spain, and all the way down under. Greetings. We have quite a show for you today, guys. A little bit of trouble in paradise, so to speak. Mike Rinder and Aaron Smith-Levin find themselves on opposite sides of a little narrative that's happening here. Um, all we're here to do is we'll see Mike Rinder's perspective. We're going to look at Aaron Smith-Levin's stance. We are the premier authorities on the public behavior and actions of SPTV. This is the rise and fall. I want to greet everyone, a special pre-Thanksgiving show. Let's go. Let's go. That's me. I'm like an addict. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing. Got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed. In if it's casket. Thanksgiving where you are already, well, it don't mind. matter because it's not America. Hours, <laughs> if shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'm Thank you. In power for a long time. Hit up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball. I'm, I'm a real big, big hitter. hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. I have a 102 fever and I have been banned from all festivals. I have fast. been invited to. Thank you. Like who's that? I'm new, come back Looks like you're getting a special year. Turkey Day show never tomorrow. Huh. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I, was built to I told you I'd do this you if it kills me. <laughs> and that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Fuck it, we'll do it live! Again. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give you everything I got. Let's F and go is what LFG means. We're gonna get hats. Picking up all the pieces is a form of art. I'm a little delirious. I'm, 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 I'm this is perfect. It usually takes me an hour to get to this fever. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. We're gonna edit out this long beginning anyway. This is just for the live viewers. You know, you get a special. We caught it! Happy birthday. Okay, I didn't come here to play. Let's get to work. All right, all right. I've, I've punched the clock. I've checked in. Man, somebody give me my hard hat. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, from the pineapple to the big apple, from Maine to Spain. I am Tony D, your fevered host today. I think I got that thing that they talk about, that, uh, but it's probably a new one. I probably got a new one because, you know, I had the last one, and now I got this one, and I'm okay. Oh, God. Hey, what's up, Ski? Welcome. Welcome to the live. Welcome to the good life. Today, what we're going to look at is a story of division, 
a story of broken trust, a story of leadership gone wrong, a story that eclipses all stories. If this story was the sun, then the moon would go in front of it and it would eclipse it. Because what has happened here is there have been a lot of creators riding pretty high on the hog, wouldn't you say? Pretty high on that SPTV hog. And what's happened now? Pig done slipped out. Where's the pig? Some pig. I'll tell you what. I think these guys have got a real PR. What do they call it? Flap. They've never been able to hold it together. You know why? Because this is an undisciplined group. I've said this from the very beginning of my experience here. What I've seen in the comments is one comment that said this happens every few years. Uh, they get a little public exposure. They fall apart. However, Mike Rinder continues to survive. I think that was uh, Danny Crook earlier in the comments. Uh... Yeah. Well, Mike Rinder is, you know, I told you, if, if we were looking in Iraq, and this was comparative to the Iraq story, uh, Mike Rinder is my Saddam Hussein. He is the ace of spades. All right? Where's, I don't hear any argument. <laughs> Am I wrong? Is he not? Is he not? Is is uh, Aaron not Uday? Don't we have a, a, a Kuse as well somewhere around here? I think we can go down this entire deck of HVTs and realize what we're dealing with when we talk about an operation, especially one that is led by an individual like Mike. You don't want to be like Mike. This is not the Jordan commercials anymore. This is not the mic you want to be like, okay? This is the mic in the Mike and Ikes. Nobody likes Mike and Ikes. Don't even sit here and tell me that anybody in this effing chat room enjoys Mike and Ikes, okay? It doesn't happen. No such thing. Truth will out. It's it's the way things go. It's life. You know? And I got to tell you something. Uh, Andrew, I did it all uh, for the nookie. So there you go. Now, we're going to look into that, John B. And, and, and I'll tell you something. I have some of these video packages racked up. We are going to look at both sides of this story. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, over on BFG, which, sound, which sounds like some kind of uh, black prison mafia group, to be quite honest. BFG, my goodness. It's uh, blown for good. <laughs> you know, my goodness. And then you have growing up in Scientology, the GSers over on the other side of town. Right. This is like we're going to look at this like two gangs. OK, because that's what they are. They're now two gangs. You see the separation in the chat. Right. I feel like I'm the guy in uh, my cousin Vinny matching tires, two tires. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody. So we're going to look at these video packages because what's happening here is somebody is not telling the truth. I don't know who it is, okay? But we have two different stories here. We have Aaron's story, and let's take a look. All right. Oh, I'm Scientology sorry. Give me a five by five. Enough. You can it hear this. Is what the Church of Scientology so for This is actually. Um, hello, hello, everyone. I have a no idea if this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what I got. There he is. Okay. So, everybody could hear. Okay. Yo, toots. <laughs> Yo, toots. They're not going to... Let me tell you something, Tease Time. I don't know where you're from to go and put that in this chat, but it's somewhere near Philadelphia. <laughs> okay? Um, we got the chat absolutely cooking. And um, here is Aaron Smith-Levin. Now, 
you got to understand there are two sides of this story. They're saying two different things. Aaron's saying that it happened when he wasn't there behind his back. All right. What's a ute? If the Wi-Fi is going to work properly, I hope it's not laggy. You guys know I wanted to do a video or two per day while I was here in London on vacation. Uh, oh, boy. He does not sound. Uh, boy, he sounds pissed. Uh, turns out the Airbnb that we're in is such that it's impossible for me to record or do anything if I'm home unless I'm home alone. And I'm never home alone until tonight. Everyone's out seeing Book of Mormon. And I figured, you know what? I'm what? <laughs> what? Okay. Show's over. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. They're saying here that he's saying that, well, he probably can't get all the drugs that he's usually on. And he can't get all his drugs, so he's probably pretty sober. He's not, like, munching down mushrooms and blueies and twoies and blow and, and, and hookers, you know? Not a big fan of musicals. Always wanted to see the Book of Mormon, but I think I can sit. Is this the soberest, Aaron, we've seen? This one out. Um, no, I'm willing to listen. Let's hear him out. ago, last Sunday, I was voted off the board of the Aftermath Foundation. And I want to do a video about this sooner, but I didn't want to do any videos until I did this video. And like I said, this is the first opportunity I'm getting Fair to enough. do this video. So let's get to it. Um, I do have some notes in front of me. I'm also working from one screen when you guys might know I'm used to working from three screens. So I'm going to try to not make this too awkward, but... Uh, let's just do it. So Okay, so I think everybody uh, from here on, we need to pay attention. Let's just pay attention to what he's saying. He's got his side of the story. Then we've got Rinder with their side of the story. We're going to bring that up in a minute, okay, because that's going to take a little bit longer. Aaron was a little more short and to the point here, all right, which, thank God. <laughs> but you're going to hear his description of what happened with the board. Hey, Dana. The official reason... Everybody drop some hearts in the chat for Dana there. ...for my removal was a video that I did two oh, weeks yeah. ago. Oh, Mr. yeah. Mr. Crow gets it. Gifted memberships are a great way to kick off the holidays. Um, calling out an attorney, one of the attorneys representing Val Haney in her trafficking suit against Scientology. And I didn't say the name of the attorney, um, the name, the title of the video was something like uh, attorney makes huge mistake in Scientology trafficking. What's up, Chad? And um, and that video was about Graham Barry. And you wouldn't. Chad, put hearts in the chat for Dana. Know that if you'd seen the video, because I never said Graham Barry's name in the video. And, you know, these plaintiffs are represented by large law firms. These law firms have tons of lawyers. If you already knew that Graham Barry was the one guy who was supposed to show up for that hearing, then you knew that's who I was talking about. And if you didn't already know that, you would never have any clue. Okay. Um, now, apparently, that video that I did about Graham Barry violated the Aftermath Foundation's Code of Ethical Conduct. Anybody who is watching who was part of the SPTV community should be demanding. If they want to know the truth, they should be demanding of their community of Aftermath to make that public. What he is saying right here, they're a public charity, okay? They are beholden to the public. That's it. All right? So um, when you deal in something like this, what he just said, that is something that is, that needs to be disclosed. If what he is saying is true, then he will be able to provide that code of conduct. I don't know why he wasn't able to find it and post it now. There's a lot of sus going on here, okay? So regardless of what people think of this division, it's still very sus to a group that is known to, let's say, fake it till they make it. Now, and my proposition is that this is not a matter of who's lying more because they are both liars. And we are going to show that as well. Not only 
was it a surprise to me that a video such as the one that I did would violate the Aftermath Foundation's Code of Ethical Conduct? It was, in fact, a surprise to me that the Aftermath Foundation had a code of ethical conduct. Because when Luis Garcia and I created the Aftermath Foundation almost exactly six years ago. Luis Garcia uh, being the other board member who is now gone from the board. And when you go to their website, you will see in the bottom. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Now there's three married couples at the head of the Aftermath Foundation taking in hundreds of thousands of dollars without explanation of any penny, nor any plan for any um, recent help or aftercare for any of the people on that website that they have so-called rescued. They treat them like they treat them like goddamn animals on that website. They show them like they're a fucking puppy that they rescued. It's insulting. None of those people have been given aftercare. One of them who's a complete mental basket case snapping maniac, okay, has not gotten aftercare. The other ones I don't know. But they can all go to Disneyland, exactly. They all get nice trips. He's in London, you know. Uh, he's in London, he's in France, he's getting in everyone but his wife's pants all over the place. The people that are watching know his reputation. Let's stop playing games with these people. The only thing that's going to push this and get you guys some answers is some volume and some action, honey bunny. Damn it. <laughs> there it is. Okay? This is yours. This is your movement. This is your community. Take it the fuck back. God damn it. Excuse my mouth. They did not create a code of ethical conduct. <laughs> there never has been one. Okay. One was not required. It's not part of our bylaws. It's not part of our incorporation documents. Because he couldn't have taken the job if there was one. <laughs> it turns out that less than 12 weeks ago, unbeknownst to me, and through a vote that I was not aware of and did not participate in. Okay. Here he says, and you got to remember this, through a vote that I was not aware of and did not participate in. Share this out, everybody. Gifted memberships are a great way to go. At least 10 to 20 of them. The foundation adopted a code of ethical conduct that prohibits any board members from criticizing, publicly criticizing, any individual or any organization that does any type of work with or for the Aftermath Foundation or is engaged in any type of work even similar to the Aftermath Foundation. Strange, right? <clears throat> now, if I had been aware that such a code of ethical conduct was being voted on and was being approved. I would have had a difficult decision to make personally. I've been nice to everybody who's come in here respectfully, you know? So, I mean, Chad's in here. Chad's a member, Clearwater Chad. He's totally cool here. I have released all kibosh on Corndiff working with Chad, all right? I haven't told Corndiff yet. <laughs> I just, ch I chatted with him today. I have not let Corndiff know yet Clearwater, so give me a second, and then you guys can then you guys can do something. I think you two, you know, if you stay the hell away from these nut bars, Clearwater Chad, I think you and Corndiff could put something together that's really quite good because you guys are on the same coast, same schedule. He and I are, you know, he and I have a little scheduling problem. I'm gonna make you a star, Clearwater Chad. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna make you a star. <laughs> You're gonna get everything you wanted. The cars, the girls, the houses. Somebody get him a hot chocolate and a blanket. Everybody, they're all in shock. If they come in and you see him shaking, throw a blanket on him and get him a hot chocolate. Would I commit to being restrained <laughs> in what I'm allowed to say on my YouTube channel? Or would I volunteer? What did he just say? Did he just make a, a First Amendment argument that I've been making the entire time that no one's going to tell me what to do on my channel? Oh, thanks, Aaron, for, uh, for saying that now. Thanks, asshole, for saying that now. 
Let's let's hear that again. He doesn't. He would he do it if it would compromise his speech? Mod on this fucking kid. <clears throat> now, if I had been aware. Oh, Racine coming in with the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Bush, Kerry O'Connor. Some of you are going to get some memberships right now from the generosity of the ZDT community. So thank you very much, everybody, giving out those gifted memberships. We love it. We love it. That's such a code of ethical Thank you for the support, guys. And was being approved. I would have had a difficult decision to make personally. Would I... It's very interesting here. To being restrained. In Hold what on. I'm allowed to say. Hey! Hey! Skirt! <laughs> oh, thank you. More memberships. We gotta let this. I connected to this one. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, you guys can. <laughs> I think it might come up again. There's a couple. There's a couple of the uh, members coming in, but that's the membership one I, I put up. I hope you like it. <laughs> Eat skirt. That's the. <laughs> I'm funny. Say. I'm funny. You know, I gotta tell you something. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put on the told you so onesie. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing that all, flossing that all through the holidays. I'm colorblind. I don't know what color it is. But yeah, thank you so much, Racine. On my YouTube channel. Or would I voluntarily you get that step yeet, skirt? Um, it's hard for me to say with 100% certainty how I would have handled that at that time. That's pretty I, honest. I, probably, I think that's the most honest thing I've ever heard him say. We would have uh, signed the document and then crossed that bridge when we came to it. Like but Duran honestly, Duran. It would have put me in a tough position. Because I have used my channel to criticize people who needed criticizing. And um, I've criticized I people who, according to this new she code of it. conduct, and I would I mean, be prohibited gets it. from criticizing. So, for example, Chris Shelton. Chris Shelton is someone who could be considered to be engaged in work that is at least similar Stop it. to the Aftermath Foundation. In that Danny gets it. sort of helps people who are leaving Scientology. Now, after the first Danny Masterson trial resulted in a, a hung jury and a mistrial, um, I very publicly criticized Chris Shelton and Tony Ortega for Perfect platforming timing. the jury foreman who said publicly that the Jane... Yeah, so remember when I told you before that he hates Chris Shelton and Chris Shelton hates him and that really didn't come out? Well, now it's coming out. Put a one in the chat if you remember when I told you months ago that these guys hate each other. I mean, come on. I did like a whole video on it. Like they can't stand each other. They never have. He, uh, in fact, Aaron told me, and this is I think maybe maybe pertinent. Aaron told me that Chris Shelton disconnected from him via text just like within this past year. Like he did a Scientology disconnect via text, all right? That is what Aaron told me. And I believe that is one of the texts that he sent me that we're going to go over. Oh, shit. Aaron really sang like a canary with his texts. Wait till you see some of those. Mod on. Wow. I mean, when I look at them in hindsight after it and I realize what they mean, I have a whole new, like, they didn't mean anything before. Right? But now that I look at them and he says certain things about stuff, but he said that, the, man, it's going to, it will shock and amaze you. Those were not credible and were not believed. I want to do a whole show on it, Mandy. The jurors, and that no reasonable jury. For $1,000 of Super Chess, I'm kidding. <laughs> could ever unanimously find the. Yeah, jury. Chris is like the cringiest of cringe, Miss Deed. The cringe. He is the creepiest. Like, he looks like he has a van with like candy in it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, puppies and candy, you know? Oh, fuck me, Lord, fuck me. Chris Shelton. Chris Shelton. He is... He is... Ugh. In Doe's. Credible. Now, at that time... <laughs> I know he The is. Jane Doe's were made aware... He's like, let me tell you something, honey. 
You know, if you did something with those drapes over there and made them match the carpet, what? That this interview was going to be done and going to be published. And the Jane Doe's. 101 people getting down right now. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, asked Chris Shelton and Tony Ortega to, they didn't say don't publish it. They didn't say don't do it. Hey, KSA, said, could, could new subscriber, thank you so much. Until the district attorney of the deputy it's district swiped right over announces face. whether he's going to Oh, and you get a, and you get a, a samurai. Or not. See that? You know, the guy who thinks we were all unbelievable and that nobody would ever find us believable and was actually working with the defense to get the charges against all the gra All the graphics are, are working tonight, which is great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to the OBS gods. And he thrown out. Could you just wait on publishing that interview until after the DA makes an announcement about whether he's going to retry Danny and Chris Shelton and I'm Chris Shelton. When I go to LA, I like to go to West Hollywood. Can you believe this is a guy that's supposed to be out of Scientology, but he does a disconnect on a text. That is like the worst girl thing. Like you break up like a girl on it. I can't see you anymore. It's not me block. And then he blocked him on the text and on everything because Chris Shelton is a man bitch. And I'm sorry, I had to give you a little of the spicy. That's about, I'm not gonna go C word, I'm not gonna do all that. That was before when I was, you know, when I had to make my point. Now it's just for a little flavor, all right? Just a little, just, I don't really curse that much. You know, before I dealt with these SPTV guys, I mean, you could look back at my content. I never really swore much before. Tony Ortega I'm a pretty said, chill no, dude. You can't wait. This is a scoop. This is our right. We're gonna do this anyway. And that's where I agree with Aaron because Tony Ortega is a scumbag. He will do anything for the scoop. And from what I have been told and reports say across the board is that he is paid by Karen Della Carriere. He is paid by Karen Della Carriere reportedly, all right, allegedly, <laughs> and uh, documentedly <laughs> and admittedly paid to write each article that he writes. Do you think that he makes any money off that crappy blog of his? I mean, really, do you really think Tony Ortega makes any money? Not only on, but he makes the videos that Karen wants him to make. I don't know if you guys realize that. There's a group of creators that Karen pays to propel her propaganda, okay? To catapult the propaganda in her favor. I hope you folks understand that. All right, and I hope you look into it. And I, what I want you to look at in particular is Karen Della Carriere's eBay. Look at her eBay. It goes back years. Every one of her things is private, and they're all a five-star glowing review. Guess what that is? That's impossible, okay? Especially for as many years. Not one negative complaint on her eBay, all right? Why aren't federal authorities looking into this shit? They will be after this arrest with this watch guy that Tommy was involved with. See, it's quite a web that has been woven here, and a lot of people don't see it. But if you look back at my videos, you will, and I promise you, you're going to see things you didn't realize before. No, Karen is selling those uh, Kincaid paintings, right? She's selling the Kincaids. I would love for you to come to my eBay and if you like a Kincaid, I could set you up with one. Jeffrey, Jeffrey. She can't snap her fingers. What am I talking about? Basically, we're going to say F you to you guys. Okay. Ooh, spicy. <clears throat> I very rightly publicly criticized Chris Shelton and Tony Ortega for doing that. Um, based on this new code of ethical conduct that the Aftermath Foundation has adopted, doing that video would be something that would get me removed from the board. So as you can see, it would be a problem for me. Um, now if you put pretty much any SPTV creator in the chat, I could tell you what scam they're running and where it is and what videos that you could find the receipts and the proof. Because if you want to, they're all very clear about who they're about. All you have to do is go into the transcripts, do a word search for what you're looking for. You don't have to look through all my videos. You could find them very easily. I mean, you do have to go through the catalog of about 150 of them, but you know. I'm very thorough. Look, Graham Barry, about Graham Barry. Some say obsessed, but Graham whatever. Barry is a very competent attorney who has done a lot of good work going up against Scientology for decades. He's an attorney that I 
and the foundation have sent a ton of Look business at that to over the last self-soothing, rubbing the hands together. Look at the self-soothing. Mm, all right. Oh, I'm going to self-soothe because I'm lying. Six years. And I will continue to send business to Graham Barry. Uh, when it comes to... Uh, I need to talk to Graham Barry about my chins. <laughs> I've had, I've had several of them done. I'm not satisfied. The type of cases where he's sending demand letters to Scientology to get people- Is that it, Bush? There yeah. really is nobody. There really, <laughs> Graham Barry has no peer when it comes to helping people get their money back from Scientology. Look at that. Um, when it comes to the, the recent trafficking cases, many mistakes have been made. Many mistakes have been made. Deadlines have been missed. Incomplete filings have been made. I want you to know as far as- you know, nobody's going to block you anymore from being in here, okay? These channels, they don't have any mods. <laughs> so you could be in here and make a comment. Ain't nobody going to see it. Ain't nobody going to find you, you know? And if anybody, you know, rats, you know, like, who cares? If you got something to say and you're, and you're checking this out, I welcome for you to say something. How did I hear about Aaron before he posted it? Um, how did I hear about it? That's a good question. Nothing nefarious, I mean, I assure you. I think it was just because he had left the country and then, you know, someone had sent me a thing and then they did a video. I mean, it was just like a, a whole um, sort of different, you know, Oh, yeah, that's right. I went to the site. That's right. Dana did it. I, I knew it was her. Dana, Dana told me, and then you go to the website, and then you can see at the bottom. So that's how I knew before he announced it, but also he left the country, and then there was the arrest with uh, Tommy's friend, and there was a lot going on at once. So um, I have the attention span of a doorknob, so thank you. It was Dana that told me, so more hearts for Dana, I say. I say more hearts. More hearts. More hearts. Thank you, Dana. I was like, I really didn't remember. But thank you. Dana usually tells me a lot of things because, like, there was a piece of information that came in the other day. I'm going to show Dana. Okay? I am just, I'm just like the support team for Dana. All right? She's the, she's the, she's the smart one. And the pr and and the pretty one. And uh, yeah, so there. I'm not the smart one or the pretty one. No, I used to be. I used to be both until Dana came along. <laughs> no, she's great. She's great. Hey, and if you're not subscribed to Dana's channel, you got to go do it right now because she has like some amazing amazing pieces of 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 history um she's right she, she i am full of crap i am the smart and the pretty one thank you declarations have been omitted from filings mistakes have been made and graham was just replaced on and a lot of the people that have tried to bring this stuff out guys have been what i the term i was told that the scientologists used is shuttered into silence and i didn't do that i didn't fold they have exposed all of my private information unreasonably OK, and I clap back. Naturally, I clap back. I'm not going to sit there and be beaten with a bat verb uh, proverbially and not say something or do something about it. So that's all I did. Right. And keep in mind that I'm a very small channel against not only Aaron's channel of 200,000, but Aaron Gold's channel of 200,000. And then the rest of them that add up to a, a half a million people. All right. After me. Do you understand? Has that ever happened to anybody here? Hmm? Except Dana? Because I'm looking at my crew here and my crowd, and as much as I love you guys, I don't think you've taken the hits that me and Dana have taken. You know, they're taking bets on, on people's illnesses and things like that. What I did was I made a video, and when I talked about Mike Rinder, I didn't believe him. 
I don't believe that he had stage four. So that's why I talked about it like that. Okay. You guys got to start asking more questions in this community because it took you long enough to catch up. And that's fine. You're here now. But, but pay attention because this is going to move a little quick from here. And there's going to be a lot of shell game that's going to happen in front of you. All right. One of those cases just today. So I was not completely. Let's get now. a little toward the end. <laughs> you guys could watch this. And I, I remember I think I closed Claire. Claire told Mark. Mark was good. Same conversation with Mike. I'm going to continue to do the good work that I've been doing over the last six years. Um, and I'm going to continue exactly. to do that with my own organization, just like the Aftermath Foundation was my own organization. It was honestly almost exactly six years to the day that Luis Garcia called me and said, Aaron, I've got an idea for a nonprofit that will help people to leave Scientology. I said, Luis, we've already discussed this. It's a terrible idea and it will never work. <laughs> he said, hear me out. And it doesn't work and it never has worked because until those people get, even the ones that have attacked me, until those people get aftercare, all right, paid for by this foundation that has enough money to pay this exorbitant amount of, 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 of money for Mike Rinder's medication for which I donated, by the way, I want everybody here to know that I put money and I bought one of those stupid mugs for Mike's fundraiser for his medicine. I am owed an answer. Everyone who donated is owed an answer. Why is he deleting the chats? Why is he deleting the questions? Do you know who does that? Liars. Quarter million dollars for his medicine? What medicine? What medicine is it, Mike Rinder? What is the name of the medication? Why are you not disclosing the name of the medication that could help millions of people around the world with this miraculous treatment that you have come up with? Again, you are either lying or you're gatekeeping. Both of them, yeah, I got the Goldie mug. Hey, mother effers, I got the Goldie mug. Okay, for Mike Rinder's fundraiser. Okay? Anybody want to pick their jaw up off the goddamn ground now? I told Aaron in the very beginning, give me the stories that you're afraid to do, man. Give them to me. I'll do them. I know you got a family. Give them to me. There we go. We got another sub. That's Thank you so much. Are you so afraid of? This this is is Thank you so much. Kim DeHay. New sub. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. So let's get to this other package here. All right. And this is the... Uh, what the Church of Scientology is so afraid of? This, this is now is see? I'm sorry. Hold on. Hi, everyone. So see... They're calling it SPTV. All right. Thank you, Smooth Blue. It's just the nature of the game, baby. Sometimes you got to take the hits. People will listen. Uh, here we are with Mark and Claire in beautiful, not so sunny, but snowy Colorado. Yes. I'm hearing a horrible echo. Okay, um, we yeah. are here. Yeah, we. I was gonna say, I made fun of this the other night. I think I'm gonna make fun of it again. I'm sorry, I can't help it. But whenever I see these two, look at them. Me and you, and you and me. My love to dance and pass and down. So magically, the only one for me is you, and you is me. So happy together. Come on, Mark Headley. I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's just they're a little. They're very close. Very close. Look at that look. Look at how they're looking at each other. Hey. Find you, find you a partner that looks at you like Mark Headley looks at Mike Rinder, okay? 
And look at her. She's like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It's cute. All right, let's listen. We're going to hear the Mike Rinder side of the story and the rest of the board other than the other married couples that are involved in it. <laughs> we were going to do a video um, with all of us oh, here Jesus in Colorado. Christ. And um, then there was a, a video that came out this morning and that sort kids of changed do. our uh, itinerary for the video tonight. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so we're... Can everybody do me a favor? Um, a lot of you have a lot more experience with Claire Headley. Everybody, can we just all put one word in the chat that I, I see? Gary Shield said evil, okay? Everybody put one word in the chat that you think of Claire Headley, okay? What's the one word that comes to mind when you think of Claire Headley? Please put it in the chat so this bitch can see it. <laughs> We're going to start off. Um, with because she's watching. Okay, she's watching right now. Make no goddamn mistake. Welcome to the Blown for Good channel. Um, this is streaming on uh, the Blown for Good channel, and it's also streaming on uh, Mike Rinder's channel. And um, we are going to uh, address as much as we can address in this. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, it's unfortunate that we even have to do a video about this. Um, Milf. But. Um, yeah, that is what it is. Ivor. So, if, if, look, if you are waiting for some bombshell to be dropped by us um, in response to Aaron's video, here uh, we go. You should switch off right now because that's not going to happen. Um, we all watched Aaron's video. Um, we are not going to respond to the numerous misrepresentations omitted information um outright things that are untrue in he's not going to respond but he's responding right now okay put a one in the chat if you hear him responding he is responding he's saying he's telling you what it is this is the response he's calling aaron a liar is he calling aaron a liar i think he's calling aaron it's unfortunate that we even have to do a video about this. Oh, boy. I was going to say, we were going to do a video um, with all of us. Seriously, all of us. And, um, then what there is was that? A, a what video. is that Copacabana showgirl move that he just did? All of us. What in the fuck? What is going on here, man? What is that? I'm sorry, guys. I got to see this again. This is weird. I mean, now that we're all here, we may as well. What's the Church of Scientology so afraid of? This, this is SPTV. Hi, everyone. Uh, and Claire had, doesn't take her Mark eyes off Claire the chat. In beautiful, not so sunny, but snowy Colorado. Yes. I'm hearing a horrible echo. Okay. Colorado being the home base for the Aftermath Corporate. That is where um, Mark and... Um, Claire live and they have uh, also Claire and Mark were one of the ones that actually had to pay Scientology they tried to sue Scientology Scientology got them to pay their legal fees from the court uh, they lost so you know they're 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 batting zero for for winning any legal um, torts against the church uh, I hope someone's I, I, I know somebody from a long long time ago that got their money back right but this goes a little far. They weren't Sea Org either. Um, we yeah, are here. Yeah, we, I was going to say, we were going to do a video um, with all of us. Oh, my God. <laughs> all of us. And um, then there was a, a video that came out this morning, and that sort of changed our uh, itinerary for the video tonight. Yep, and yep. Um, so we're going to start off. Uh, yeah, this is an OSA operation. Channel. Um, this is stream Has anybody figured out that? The main reason, like, that I'm not OSA yet, has everybody figured that out? <laughs> like, uh, you got it? You got it? <laughs> I, uh, do I look like I could, be, like, anybody could tell me to do anything other than Dana that I respect and listen to? No. You know, I barely listen to my mother. But I'm still afraid of her, too. Because Italian thing. Shut up. On uh, the Blown for Good channel, and it's also streaming on... 
uh, Mike Rinder's channel. And um, we are going to uh, address as much as we can address in this. Um, and um, yeah, it's unfortunate that we even have to do a video about this. Um, but um, yeah, that is what it is. So if, if look, if you are waiting for some bombshell to be dropped, take over, us, Mike. Um, in you, response such a good to job at Aaron's it. video, uh, you should switch off right now because that's not going to happen. Um, we all watched Aaron's video. Um, we are not going to respond to the numerous misrepresentations, omitted information, um, outright things that are untrue. Let's do this one more time. Put a one in the chat if they are calling Aaron Smith Levin a liar. Now, keep in mind, this is their response. Aaron hit the ball, all right? This is their response to Aaron's video, okay? Got to understand that. Aaron still has not had the chance to respond to the fact that they're calling him a liar. Guess what? I bet he will unless there is some very, very serious reason that he is no longer on the board, which is also possible. And again, I don't know. I don't know. I could just go by what's public here. In that video, um, because that is exactly what Osa wants us to do. Oh my God. That's exactly what Osa wants us to do. See, this is the dog whistle. This is the, this is the boogeyman, right? This is the boogeyman. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you a little story. When I went to summer camp, right? When I went to summer camp, the camp counselors wanted all the kids to get in their sleeping bags and, you know, knock out. So what did they do? They made up this story about the dancing monkeys that would come onto your chest and they would pluck, if your eyes were open, they would pluck <laughs> and then they would steal them. When you're six or seven years old going to camp and a camp counselor tells you that, that's going to scare the shit out of you. You're going to keep their eyes closed. And you know what those camp counselors would do? Your eyes would close and they would make monkey noises and they would come around and tap our chests in the middle of the goddamn night to scare the shit out of us. Guess what that is? That's the same thing Mike does with OSA and OSA and this dog whistle bullshit. It's not even fucking real. And what part of it is real, these people ain't ever gonna see. The normal everyday people that are in the chats, they don't know about it, they've never seen it. They never even knew about it. Some of the never-ins are so fucking scared of the OSA people because of those da that same dancing monkey programming. Those camp counselors programmed us to keep our eyes closed. Mike Rinder is programming you to keep your eyes closed. Do you understand me? That is what Mike Rinder does his entire career. Great villain arc that I got, though. Fantastic. Let's get this back over here. Of the people, whoever... We're going to... Despite vicious and uh, extensive attacks of us personally... Um, on all levels, so... Hold on. Hold on. I'm over here. Claire. Like I said, we wish Aaron well, and he can carry on doing what he's always done. Uh, after all, we're a volunteer board. Nobody's getting paid. Nobody's... Uh, you lying sack like of said. shit. <sighs> you lying motherfucker. You're telling me that you're not getting paid? Because of the auspices of the Aftermath Foundation, you lying sack of shit. That you're not getting paid when you go and cry about cancer that is more than likely not even real. Are you, is this motherfucker out of his mind? You know, see, I catch this stuff. This is the same guy. He is dancing 
He's doing the dancing monkeys, taking your eyeballs. All right? We wish Aaron well, and he can carry on doing what he's always. Sorry. It's unfortunate that we even have to do a video about this. Um, but, um, yeah, that is what it is. So if, if Look, if you are waiting for some bombshell to be dropped. Sorry, I'll bring it forward a little bit. We are... Uh, going to carry on doing the work of the Aftermath Foundation. Five we gifted memberships from Aaron Annie Kurtz. Well. Hello! I know the graph is going to come up. There it is. Yeet, yeet, skirt, skirt, yeet, yeet, skirt, skirt, yeet, yeet, yeet. Oh, Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. Welcome. Welcome, Lizzie C. It's, I love this. Another member, gifted memberships, just a few gifted memberships. You gotta enjoy it, right? We love it. Yeah, well, you know, that down the rabbit hole is uh, not, not, uh, you know, what can I say? Thank you for the gifted memberships. Once again, welcome to all those who are getting those gifted memberships. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. Get behind that paywall. There's a lot of great stuff back there that also has nothing to do with Scientology. All right. I got a lot of content, nothing to do with this stuff. That's right. If you want to get in the, uh, you have to pay the troll toll to get into the um, rabbit hole. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for those uh, gifted we have memberships. No ill will towards him. Uh, we want to help people get out of Scientology. And the keyboard warriors who wish to reach conclusions about what happened and why are going to... Look at that. The keyboard warriors. That's his audience that has been giving him fucking money. Whenever he whines about his sore little cancer toe that probably doesn't even have cancer. Yeah, this is when the chat exploded. You guys could go to this video, you know, not right now. <laughs> it's crazy. We're watching it here. I have been on Aaron's YouTube before. Yeah, he deleted that video. I still have it. We have to continue Don't to worry. just speculate. I still got it. We are not coming out with some statements that are going to uh, play right into the hands of the Office of Special Affairs. And we are just going to carry on. That's doing right. Turn on those gifted memberships, guys. What we have always done. Nothing is going to change. And like I said, we nothing is going to change. This is what Mike Rinder says. Nothing is going to change. I am still going to take your money. I'm not going to answer any of your questions. Hey, oh, thank you for the sub, Julie Goodwin. You get the samurai. Osu. Welcome. Somebody get all these new subscribers and members a blanket and some hot chocolate. Rub their back and get them a fireplace. Wish Aaron well, and he can carry on doing what he's always done. Uh, after all, we're a volunteer board. Nobody's getting paid. Nobody's. Uh, well, I mean, Monkey House, you would have to look back into my repertoire a little bit. But there is a perfect couple of, I think the video is called, um... Humpty Dumpty, um, Grifter Numpty, something like that. And it is an egg. Um, he is literally an egg. He is Humpty Dumpty in that, in that um, particular video. I've got some spice back there, kids. If you like it, if you want to see the receipts that everybody's been telling me about, they're in my videos. And you'll know who it's about by the thumbnail. I have it very organized. So if you go and you want to see something about Vanessa, you'll see a bunch of stuff there. If you want to see something about uh, pedo, uh, um, uh, what is it, Mark uh, Mark Fisher, with you know you, we got videos about that. If you want to see Tommy uh, admitting that he is part of this uh, federal that he did business with this 
guy who got arrested by the feds, which was like the stupidest thing I've ever seen anyone do. Mark Fisher, thank you. Um, you know what? One of the first bullies in my neighborhood was named Mikey Fisher, okay? And that's why I keep saying Mike Fisher, all right? That's why I keep saying it. It's not like that big a thing. So um, we also all started the Aftermath Foundation together. It was all of us that started it. There wasn't one person or two people or three people. It well, then why aren't you listed as a founder? Are you listed as a founder? And Claire, are you a founder or a flounder? Sorry. Was all of the members besides um, Amy and Matt, who just recently joined. Um, yes, we're going to do a social blade analysis. We'll do that in the next couple of days. Um, it was all of us that started the foundation. It they got a, the, It takes a couple of days for it, for it to it wind up and, you know, any of the people it was named after a TV show. That so what's happening on when this video was done will start to come out in the next couple of days. It takes a little while to catch up. Leah and Mike did. And that's how it started. And Claire and I were doing it since 2005, helping people, um, giving, getting them jobs and getting them a place to live and getting them a car. And we've been. How do you do all that? See, that's another question that I've had. How do you all of a sudden get people with no record, no identity, no nothing? How do you get them all that stuff? You know, what, what are they? What do you? <laughs> you know, Claire's the only person. Yeah, we're going to we're going to talk about that stuff uh, coming up. That's going to be fantastic when Dana does that. Um, Doing that uh, since 2005. How do they get, you know, I would bring Goldie onto my channel if she wanted to do a if she wanted to get her message out and put her voice out and say what she had to say, Goldie's welcome on here. I'll listen to her. I have no problem with her. I wouldn't have fired her, to be honest. It's just, uh, you know, she could have been corrected, I believe. You know, that's somebody who is willing to work really hard. I believe the pros outweighed the cons, and I think that they had to fire her just for her opinions, which really, you know, shouldn't uh, shouldn't happen. But you could put the word out. Goldie could come on here. If she wants to talk, she doesn't got to show her face if she doesn't want to. She could do that uh, uh, backstage. But she's welcome here to say what she has to say and make a statement. Or I'll read a statement if she has one. She's got my email. Come on, Goldie. Many years, maybe even a decade before the aftermath, well over a decade. Well, what? Yeah. Yep. I didn't actually sell the cum towels. It was just a, it was kind of a, it was kind of a bit of a troll, if you will. Oh, many years before the Aftermath Foundation started. So <laughs> Monkey this is not house. a new thing that we've been doing. Um, doing it. Put under, it on. Put it on one and a quarter speed, or um, one and a half. I mean, you're anybody here. The foundation is um, what changed when the Aftermath Foundation did it, and it wasn't just Claire and I doing. Yeah, it. she's a hard worker. Like I don't know why they fired her. It was because. Because it was a witch hunt. Not that she's a witch. I've called her some names. I've said some things, you know, but, you know, that was just, uh, that was in the heat of the moment. I really don't take anything that personally. You guys got to understand, I'm super chill. This stuff is not going to eat me alive when I hang up the, when I put, when I turn off the microphones and shit, I go play video games. I go write. I go have fun with, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with the graphics and learning about OBS and, you know, putting up my great meditation and healing videos. I hope you guys have seen those new ones on my channel. I'm starting to put up a whole series of sleepy time meditation frequency healing videos. I know some of you have enjoyed it. Help my sleep amazing. Like, it helps me because sleep is restorative. And, you know, get on it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Out of our pockets and out of our own bank account. So, yeah. um, we don't. And quite frankly, some of the people that were shitheads to me kind of owe me a sub. Yeah, and you don't have to do it while we're watching here so the alert doesn't come up. You could do it quietly later, but some of you owe me. Some of you owe me, okay? Because you were shitty, okay? If you just had an opinion, that's fine. You don't. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to the people that were shitty to me. Little time that you eat a little crow because you tried to stuff it down my throat for how long? Sorry. Not sorry. You guys should pay more attention to other things other than what people just tell you in a group. Look at these people.
Do you know what Mike is responsible for? Huh? Do you know the stories that I've heard? Some of them I can't even tell you. And they come from the source. You know what I'm talking about. And I can't tell you some of them. Yeah, I, 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 I did fire her pretty quickly. <laughs> it didn't work out. Um, and, and new members may come, and some of the members that are on there right now may leave. It doesn't mean that it's not the foundation is, has a mission to help people who have been harmed by Scientology. That's our mission. Our mission is not to trash other creators or involve in infighting or any of that. That has nothing to do with the foundation's uh no, we wouldn't have her as a, yep, as a mod here, it. but I would talk to her and I'd let her say her, her her piece. You know, I would never have her as a mod. I'm just saying I wouldn't have fired her because she did a lot of stuff. You know. Uh, it is what it is, right? Have anything to do with why we came to YouTube to continue to add our voices to expose Scientology. Eyes like a doll's eyes. For 18 years, despite vicious and uh, extensive attacks of us personally um, on all levels. So we're gonna keep on fighting the fight. And as we all said, Aaron does amazing work and will continue to do amazing. Well, apparently, oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I guess I couldn't have her be a mod. Yeah, that's tricky. That's tough. Oh, I forgot the N word thing. <laughs> I forgot about the N-word thing. Well, they never address what happened to Mike in Virginia. They also never address the allegations of ordering how of Mike Rinder ordering um, the allegations of Mike Rinder ordering the arson of private residences and the taking of people's children, okay? Mike Rinder is garbage. He is a garbage human. Mike Rinder belongs in prison, okay? And these people are protecting him. Leia Ribbony is protecting him. You know, she's using her celebrity to distract. You think these are real whistleblowers? You think these are real whistleblowers? Look, at, let me just tell you something. You see these real whistleblowers, okay? Look at this fucking nice wood motherfucking paneling this motherfucker has in this fucking house, okay? Look at this motherfucker's books. This bitch has this library that she's sitting in. And Mike and Virginia McClowry aren't. You want to know what fury is? It's when I start to talk about that. These are not victims. These are not victims. These are hustlers. They're not suffering. They haven't even helped their own. They've helped themselves. Work and we're not going to say anything otherwise because th that's the fact of the matter. Of course, you're not Claire. The very best and have told him such to his face. So there you have it. Really to yep. his face. <laughs> so let's get on with the business that we were actually going to talk about today. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, because there, there is quite some uh, interesting stuff that came up. Uh, Claire, let, let's start with that. That uh, what was a text message or text email message. or something? Sent? Yes. So um, speaking of the Aftermath Foundation, interesting development yesterday. Uh, the Aftermath Foundation received a text message that says, here's a... I don't know what to say to Bo Beats. I don't know what to say to Bo Beats about that. So... And Bo Beats is not a man. Obese is a woman. So I am going to say this. I'm sorry that the Band-Aid came off slow. And it's unpleasant to believe in something and then to be betrayed by the faith you put in others. What you have done 
is you lit a fire that I couldn't light. And you're one of the main reasons any of these folks are even listening to what I am saying or what Dana is saying right now. So, you have done something extraordinary for your community. And that pain will serve you to make a change because that's what pain has done for me. And that's the best I can hope for and that's the best I could say or do. And you're not a fool. You're not a fool. It's happened to everybody. It's happened to everybody, Bo. It has happened to everyone, myself included, time and time again. You know, we've all put our faith in something and it didn't turn out to be what we believed in, but in the long run, it's better, Bo. Okay? So there you go. Don't any of you ever tell anybody I said something nice that'll ruin my reputation as a misogynist and a racist and a white supremacist. Thank you. Don't ruin my reputation. I appreciate it. Thank you. Proper text then. I need you to save Saturday, 16 December. You're welcome here anytime, Bo. You did a good thing. On your calendar for the ultimate year-end Scientology celebration. We're honoring four years of dissemination that night with the greatest gathering of Scientologists in four years. Tickets are coming. First come, first serve. How many should I reserve for you? And what are their names, please? Then, once the tickets come in, you get first choice for the best seats. And this came in from ASHO, which is one of the organizations in in Los Angeles in the big blue buildings. <laughs> we responded with, who do you think you're texting? And uh, then, <laughs> sounds like the person you're texting isn't interested in Scientology to me. She gave you the number to the Aftermath Foundation. Anyway, it went on. Uh, needless to say, this Sea Org member now knows about the Aftermath Foundation and knows to reach out to us when he needs our help escaping. <laughs> <laughs> You just go, wow, that's creative. Um, yeah, now we have Sea Org members coming and to the Aftermath Foundation to tell us <coughs> to attend their Scientology events. Yep. Yeah. Couldn't be better. Yep. We also, um, Claire and I did a video last week sometime, I think it was on Friday, yep. about solo knots. Um, I'm sorry, I read a lot of comments where people said, oh, you should have... Wow, Miss Deed. Thank you. And thank you, Bo. Explain what solo knots was <sighs> earlier in the video because we didn't understand. And when people are talking about solo knots and in any event, for those of you who may be watching now that do not know what solo knots is, solo knots stands for a or is an acronym for new era dianetics for operating thetans what is he talking about and why is he talking all this techy tech tech i think everybody knows the answer you know i think everybody knows the answer as to why mike rinder is talking about all this tech remember when i told you about the dancing monkeys and the counselors at the camp don't ever forget that story because that's what Mike Rinder is doing to these people that, that can't see it. The people that are watching here can see it. As Claire said, it's an acronym within an acronym. It is the second highest level that you reach on the Scientology bridge. And Scientologists engage themselves in auditing themselves to to get I'm going to edit out that part where I said something nice to Bo so nobody gets the wrong idea, okay? So you guys can forget about it. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I'm, I'm mean and a villain. Stop it. <laughs> bit of their, um, what's called in Scientology, <laughs> Jeff body. rotates Karen and Claire in a sarcophagus for dog treats. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you know, I've got four tendrils that come out of my back where I could pick them up and sneak them out of the bowl. Titans, these are these little beings that were implanted by Xenu 75 million years ago that are attached to your body. In any event, there has been wow. this big push from Scientology to get 10,000 people onto or through solo knots because there is this very uh, odd Hubbard quote from 1952 that says there's only about 10,000 people on this planet who are leaders and whatever. And Scientology has sort of conflated that into, well, if they could just get 10,000 people onto solo knots, they would have 10,000 Scientologists then who were <laughs> leaders and could be leading the planet. Yeah. Um, I just want to show you guys something. Um, this is what uh, I wanted to remind you. This is uh, Karen drinks this. Have you ever heard of butterfly milk? Yes, you heard it right. Butterfly milk. In Japan, there's a man who makes butterfly milk. Here's how it's done. He carefully waits for a baby butterfly close to emerging from its cocoon. Just a couple of days before it's about to break free, there he gently go. helps the butterfly out without causing any harm. Then he creates a tiny hole in go. the lower part of the butterfly's body. I love Not butterfly milk. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I love my butterfly, butterfly milk. Butterfly milk to be collected. This milk, mixed with sterile water, is one of the most expensive milks in the world. Expensive milks. It's highly concentrated. Highly so concentrated. one butterfly produces about a liter of milk when mixed with water. Delicious. Butterfly milk is surprisingly beneficial. Mm. It's known to have natural Viagra ah, effects on people. Jeffrey! And even more astonishing, it's believed to help women who have trouble conceiving to become pregnant. No, yes, never mind. That, right? Women struggling <laughs> with infertility are now turning to butterfly milk. I'm still amazed. Shut up. Anyway. And have some know, butterfly milk. I for made carrots. this sort of bad joke about this is like the dog that catches the car because they're nearly up to 10,000. What happens when they get to the 10,000? Karen de la Predatore. All you have to do to know what Karen is about is go look at her eBay page. You will see for decades she has five-star reviews that are all private. Everybody loves what Karen does. Okay? Go see for yourself. Just ask her. And absolutely nothing is. I changed. am the number one Kincaid dealer in the world because because nobody wants to sell. Nobody wants them. Okay, they're just scared that they're going to get a dart in their neck if they stand too close to you from one of your, uh, you know, Men in Black tendrils of poison in the sugar water. Well, one of our viewers <laughs> sent uh, me an email saying. You know, I used to work at the FSO, and I used to work in that area that administers this solo knots to the Scientology people that are taking it. He said, the big statistic that was that the flag service org, the organization that delivers this. And you know what else? This Scientology talk is boring as fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh, and then they talk about the cake. We're going to talk about the cake, and then we're going to go about 48 minutes, because I think um, somebody mentioned there was something about 48 minutes, or I think it was maybe Danny. Uh, upset about something that happened there. But um, uh, if anything is cut in the C organization, it's, it's going to be this cake. Or the pay. Those are the kind of the first things to get cut from the financial planning if there's not enough money. But one thing that they always spend money on is... Cake. This is a cake. Oh my goodness. Of the Fort Harrison Hotel in Clearwater, Florida. Now, I don't know if you guys know a lot about uh, Look, I don't know if you guys know a lot about any kind of cake, but there's one cake I love. Nobody bakes a cake. I'll tell you that right now. As a tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. And nobody bakes a cake as 
tasty as the rich goodness of tasty cake. Of cakes and how much they cost to make and, and how complicated they Solo are. Knots is OT level training delivered on the boat. Okay, on that, uh, is that, you know. Are in the la how labor intensive they are. I would guesstimate that at least a few hundred Sea Org members could have gotten paid a week's pay or a bonus of 50 bucks instead of having this cake made. <clears throat> that's bullshit. There's no way that that's true. Mm -hmm. But uh, but they spent the money on the cake, and I'm sure that somebody might have even eaten some of this cake. It probably wasn't a lot of Sea Org members that got to dig into this thing. I bet nobody has eaten a bite out of that cake. Oh, you think it's just sitting there as a prop? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if... That might be wood under that cake. <laughs> it might be just a bunch of balsa wood and foam. That is sitting there right now. Yeah. They nobody is going to touch that. I can make one of those in like twenty minutes. All right. Thing until uh, the chairman of the board returns to Clearwater, so that they can. Yeah, we got palate cleansers all day here, and he can comment on the wondrous beauty of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that point, they may chop it up and give it to people who are paying for food in the restaurants. But I, I you know, I don't really know. Buddy. Like they want some two week old cake in the one th that they pay thirty six dollars probably for. <laughs> you know that that is an ab an absurd thing, either for Sea Org members to spend their time putting together, or for Scientology to be spending the money on. Yeah. Let Let's not forget that. The amount of money that they spend on this cake could have fed a whole lot of people during Thanksgiving week in Clearwater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A whole lot. In fact, yeah. they could chop up the cake and feed a whole lot of people during Thanksgiving week in Clearwater. Yeah. And they're not going to do either of those things. Yeah. And it just sort of highlights that fact. Yeah. He's just sitting next to him going, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. The absurdity of this is what they're so... We're here in Colorado together because I'm going to let uh, Mark... <laughs> fuck my wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to have a little swingers party later. Invite a few of the local, sh the local rippers. Um, enamored with... They're enamored with this cake, and yet they are ignoring the fact that there are a lot of people who need assistance and that they have used, they've spent a whole bunch of time and money on that, and they could be spending their time and money on assisting people. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I just on saw actually the, benefiting the public. Yeah, I just saw in the comments somebody even said, I think it was Mrs. T. Hit Rose the like said, button. That cake actually looks much better than the building. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the like button. Who's in charge of likes? You're slipping. Where are you? <laughs> no, hit the like button. Which is true. Yes. They should make the building look as good as this. Yeah. They have spent oh, yeah. millions and millions and millions of dollars on that Fort Harrison building. So, um. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, did you want to talk about this um, this other guy? Yeah. Yeah, there was something else that came in this week, which was a, a reference that was made to something announced. That and I just want a lot of the people who do watch the other SPTV creators, they've been gatekeeping information from you because of Karen. All right? So if you've been watching and you're new here and you haven't seen me and they're telling you not to watch me that's because of karen and because the other creators have made me the bad guy they've made me the devil they made me the villain they've made me the um i'm the lex luthor i'm the solomon grundy i am the legion of doom i'm all of them you know why simply because i challenged what they said and look what happens when any of you challenge what they've said they block you and they block your comments so you and i friends are in the same boat i'm a donator i've given my money and I want answers of where this cancer is. I want I want cancer a answers. Cancer answer. Tiny dancer. 
the IAS event last week in the UK. And this uh, Racine, don't, the Scientologists don't, don't tell anybody. all in a big tiz because um, David Miscavige apparently announced and showed pictures of this guy, Marshall Falk. And for those of you can bring. Oh, this is where he says Marshall Falk is like, oh, Marshall, they're using your image and likeness of the thing. I'm sure they know. I'm sure they licensed it. Mike, R Mike Rinder is dumb. Mike Rinder doesn't know how the world works. All right. Mike Rinder has no idea. He knows how to work his little, you know, uh, operation around that just keeps falling apart every few years, you know, but the, he peels enough of the money out of it. Now they're back to the cake. Let's go back to the cake again. Uh, you know, the cake is so important. The cake is so important because we can't talk about Mike Rinder possibly, not even possibly. I have eyewitness reports that say Mike Rinder was a co-conspirator, if not the ringleader of the cover-up of Danny Masterson. Ladies and gentlemen, he was the head of OSA for decades. You're telling me that he didn't run every single media operation that came through there? He didn't handle every single, what do you call it, flap? Every single flap, uh, grape, and pedo crime? That was Mike Rinder. Mike Rinder was the... Uh, what you would call the bag man, the cleanup guy. He's the guy that, you know, after uh, after uh, John Wick wipes everybody out, he's the one who comes in and cleans it up. All right? For decades. Do you guys understand that this was his job? It was his job to protect the reputation of the church at all costs. All, any, any, there was no price too great. And don't tell me that I'm lying, okay? Because it's in the, it's in the uh, uh, books or whatever. There is no price too great. I don't know the direct tech or the direct quotes, but they could do anything to people that they think are against Scientology. It's in their, you know, it's in their, um, you know, they're nignog in their head. And really, guys, listen, I, I don't know how more to say this. It, it keeps coming up, and I, it's probably going to come up in a million more videos because everyone's not going to watch this one. Everyone who watched that video is not necessarily going to watch this video. In order for us to show you the receipts, we're going to have to take out people, and we don't want to take out people. I mean, can you imagine how ridiculous that is? Listen to what he this man is saying. This is madness. This is a dog. With, this is a threat. Doing the bit. Yeah, we have a ton of people that are coming. We have 30, like 30 people coming for Thanksgiving. So we're going to have all, um, you know, we're going to have all. They are able to buy a Thanksgiving for 30 people. Okay. Well, let's look at the front. Let's look at that a little bit. They're able to afford a 30 person or any of these people that they pulled out of Scientology. Okay. Are, are any of these people, any of the people from the aftermath foundation that they're having to their own personal home that were rescued? Are you having a, any of your rescue uh, of your rescues, Claire going to come to your house? Did you invite them over? He better, he better feed some of those people. You better fly in to your freaking house. Because he's going to be sitting there uh, in probably a pretty bad way tomorrow if he's not, you know, getting a prostitute to murder. Kinds of people. Here. Yep, um, and we're going to, I'm most excited for the Turkey Trot 5K on Thursday morning. Oh, yeah. Claire's going <laughs> to run a 5K on thir and the morning of Thanksgiving. And that's yep. what kind of nonsense happens <laughs> in our life here. <laughs> Um, yes. Danger Man 5. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, remember when Mike said, if anybody has a problem with the police, come to us first. We'll tell you how to handle it with the police. Is that legal, Mike Rinder? Are you a policeman? Are you are you somehow certified to go to the cops and tell them what people are telling? This, this guy should be in prison. Why aren't people pushing for him to be put in jail? Why aren't people talking about the what he was involved in? Why isn't he right next to Danny Masterson? How many times, all those times that he got away, who do you think orchestrated it? 
Huh? Who do you think orchestrated it? The fucking tooth fairy? Different fairy. Mike is the one who wants me to read this. Mike, you need to say a bit more. You are being portrayed as a sinister power behind the scenes. Yes, I hear you. But I am not going to say more. For the so, okay. The very reason that I explained at the beginning of the video. Yeah. I am not one who goes around trying to... Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to... Oh, be very careful what you say here, Mike Rinder, because I'm listening to you now. Not these dummy zombies that you always talk to and bullshit. So these next fucking words out of your mouth, I hope to God that they're something valuable. Because I'm listening. And when I listen, you guys are in trouble. Because you know what? I know how to spot a liar. And you are one, Mike Rinder, and you're a coward. You wouldn't last 30 seconds in a debate with me. Not 30 seconds. You hear me? Mr. Frickin' try and bamboozle all these people. I'm challenging you and anyone on your board, all of you, at one time. I'll come on to your show. I'll come on to, I'll come on to where your goons are, right? Five gifted memberships. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We got some gifted memberships going out. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know. I know. You're so right. Here it comes. They're coming in. Are they coming in? There they are. There it is. Welcome as a member to the... Uh, uh. Thank you for the gifted membership ski. Yeet, yeet. Thanks, Steph. Yeet skirt. Oh, yeah. Two times. That's right. Yeet, skirt. Thank you so much, everybody. Turn on those gifted memberships. They're coming in hot. Go down to that lower right, that dollar bill right next to the chat line. And activate your gifted memberships. I'm not taking anything out. I'm kidding. I'm not taking anything out. Yeet! Skirt! I love this. I could listen to this all day. See, this is how simple I am. Just put this on a TV in front of me. I'll sit there like a five-year-old, uh, you know, with a banana. Eat a banana with my feet. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I am not going to take a stance against anyone who is on the same side as us in seeking to end the abuses of Scientology. Uh, this has been my position for a very long time, and it's not going to change You're a bitch, now. Mike Rinder. You are a, you are a bitch-made man. You're a bitch-made man, son. And yep. also, I want to say, there is nothing in anything that says you can't criticize someone, and we don't have a problem with criticism. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Uh, I beg your pardon. You, uh, your wife, Mark, put me in a very bad position by putting me in one of Tony Ortega's uh, articles in a sworn declaration trying to intimidate me. By complaining that we have attacked them personally. Mike Rinder, you also were on that sworn declaration. You fucking liars. They lied right there. That is a lie. Do you understand? They are lying right the fuck now. Put a one in the chat if you hear a lie. See, this pisses me off. Because now they're lying and they're lying about me. You lying sacks of fucking shit. Oh, sorry, excuse the language. Tone it down a little bit. I'm sorry. But you would be pretty upset too. Not one who goes around trying to uh I'm not I'm not going to let me put it that way. I am not going to take a stance against anyone who is on the same side as us in 
seeking to end the abuses of Scientology. Uh, this has been my position for a very long time, and it's not going to change now. Hit the like button, guys. Also, Share this I out. Say, there is nothing in anything that says you can't criticize someone, and we don't have a problem with criticism. Bullshit. What we're talking about Lie. is not criticisms that we're... Uh, that there's an issue that you're a liar that's a criticism that you're a crook that's a criticism that you are lying every time you look into a camera that's a criticism and you have no response for it because you're cowards i'm a troll i got a bigger audience than any of you individual fuckers do you're a group okay jesus you win. So for all the people who says, oh, if you guys aren't allowing people to criticize people. No, we, we criticize each other all the goddamn time. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, excuse me. Like individually without this aftermath or any of this bullshit of their grifts. All right. Between my social media stuff, like individually without their uh, pull from this bullshit. You know, most of these people, I have a larger audience then, you know, maybe not Mike Rinder. Um, but either way, um, that's not what this. And is. I'm talking about all my social media combined. So for the for the haters in there that are going to sit there and go, "Oh, he's me. That's not true." It's about so that and and really, guys, listen. I I don't know how more to say this. It, it keeps coming up, and I, it's probably going to come up in a million more videos because everyone's not going to watch this one. Everyone who watched that video is not necessarily going to watch this video. In order for us to show you the receipts, we're gonna have to take out people and we don't wanna take out people. What the fuck does that mean? In order for us to show the receipts, we're gonna have to take out people? What? Okay, if somebody did something that they shouldn't have done, that's for them to deal with. And we're not the police of those people. And we can't say you can do this or you can't do that. Wait a second. What is he saying here? We're not the police of those people that could have possibly done this or that or the other thing. Are they, are they, are they low key talking about Aaron? That's what I want to know. And really, guys, listen, I, I don't know how more to say this. It keeps coming up, and I, it's mm, probably going to come up in a million bullshit. more videos because everyone's not going to watch this one. Everyone, Listen to this very carefully. This is a threat. Okay? This is not an They're not answering their audience. These are the people that pay their bills. Okay? And they are not answering. Who watched that video is not necessarily. Yes, they are redacting the names. In order for us to show you the receipts, we're going to have to take out people. In order for us to show you the receipts, we're going to have to take out people. So my suspicion is, and uh, this is just my opinion, is that Aaron, perhaps they are suggesting and trying to low key say that Aaron has done something criminal. Okay. Put a one in the chat if that's possible. Is that. Possibly, Aaron has done something criminal. And listen very carefully to these next words. We don't want to take out people, okay? If somebody did something that they shouldn't have done, that's for them to deal with. And we're not the police of those people. And we If somebody did something they shouldn't have done, that's for them to deal with. And we're not the police of those people. So are you guys turning a blind eye to illegal behavior? Hmm? Yeah, you got it, Ivor. Here comes the blackmail, because that sounded like a real red carpet for some blackmail right there, huh? Hey, Aaron, listen to what we just said. You better shut your mouth. Oof. <laughs> you see why you guys need to have a different perspective of this to interpret this, you know? You can't say you can do this or you can't do that, but we don't have to work with a person that's going to do something wow. that's not in the best interest of the foundation or whatever. So wow. we're just going to leave it at that. And wow. That's what it's going to be. And if there's. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This is them saying, listen to me very carefully. This is them saying, Aaron did something criminal. We're going to spill the beans if he opens his mouth. 
That's how, that's what I heard. Sorry. Sorry. That's what I heard. Okay. Heard if you open your mouth, I'm telling you something. We're going to take everything from you. We'll take away your will. To live. I mean, woof. Savage. AF. If, um, if this keeps going on, um, then I guess we'll just have to, uh, you know, just move We'll just keep going and on thing. and ignore it. Yeah, yep. we're just going to do... Right. Oh, no, no, that's not what Mark was going to say. He said, if this keeps going on, if this keeps going on... Step in, Mike. Mike, Mike you better say something. Mark is off on one of his, one of his whiskey tangents. He's had too many hot toddies. We're going to do what we do. Yeah, we expose yes. Scientology. We do what we do. We're we not do. other creators. We're not trash. Oh, Mike, you are showing your ass, my boy. You are showing your ass. other channels we're not burning bridges that may need to be traveled over in the future we're just trying to expose scientology yep mm -hmm. and as we said we wish everyone the very best truly that's a very good question uh samantha that's a very good question has karen lost control of aaron I believe that he did ask on a uh, broadcast, I don't have this clip, Dana had mentioned it, is that he asked Jeffrey if, um, when the last time Karen got paid to audit, okay? So that's something that apparently came out of um, Aaron's mouth from, you know, where's Mike's daughter? Um, <laughs> I hope chained up in a basement somewhere. Have you seen her? Is that the, the Cyclops? Yeah. Necessary Trouble says, total love and respect for you. Thank you, Necessary Thank Trouble. You. We appreciate it. Um, Susan Peach heals. This too shall pass. You have all been through so much more. They're just playing the positive comments now, and they're putting one in that's a little bit, you know. Yes. Oh, really? Ain't that the truth? We really? <laughs> I've, I've said that to myself at least 50 yeah. times today. Yeah, and... I don't care. I don't care who's trapped in the Sea Org. I really don't. Um, this is not my mission in life to get Scientologists out of Scientology. Okay? My thing is free speech and the truth and people who rip people off online. That's what I talk about. And these people are that. Now, it just so happens that I had maybe a little contact with Scientology in my uh, long past, but shit. Please. Yeah. Believe you me. <laughs> it is what it is. Yep. It is. Um, here's a yes, I uh, spoke about Aaron's mother a while back. Uh, Aaron's mother is actually an active auditor. She is an independent Scientology auditor. Aaron Smith Levin's mother is an independent Scientology auditor. You can go back in one of my videos and see that. We uh, show you who she is. It's it's all public. She is a public uh, service uh, sort of um, you know organization. She's out there. She is auditing people for Scientology. And Aaron, does Aaron talk about that, that his mother audits for Scientology? And he's talking about how, see, all the hypocrisy and fuckery that goes on in this group? Like, if you don't, then you might, you might, then you might be a redneck. Good one from Gina. I brought this up many times, Gina. Yep. Gina, man, you guys, sometimes it would just be easier to live your lives. I don't know why you keep doing it. I don't either, Gina. <laughs> I don't. Forward. There's so many super chats. I know. Amber, I wish peace for everyone. Thank you, Amber. We appreciate it. We do it. too, Amber. Thank okay. you. Yeah, sure I'm you do, Claire. Literally, yeah. um, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wrong. Internet resting how negative comments are deleted. My super chat will be ignored. So sad. Once a Scientologist, always keep the bad habits. Wow. But unfortunately, we just read your comment, Andy. So Andy's. there you have it. <laughs> oh, I guess yeah. I did. Thanks, thanks for the super chat. We appreciate thanks the for... super chat. And obviously, we just showed it. Um, um, like I said, there's so many super chat tequila. And you didn't answer it. You basically just took their money and didn't respond. Whoever that is, if you hear me, I would do a chargeback on that super chat. And anybody who's in here who hears my voice, I would charge back every super chat you've ever given to any of these people. That's what I would do. I mean, I don't know. Charge them back because they're lying. Or get a refund from Aftermath. This is ridiculous. My God.
awful people. Awful people. You know, they didn't they are they are deleting their uh, questions about this charity. OK, do you see why I talked about getting refunds from these people and doing chargebacks? This is ridiculous. How much how many how much of a pounding do people want to take before they wake up and donuts right now? I answered about 50, and there's 50 more. Thank you, Tequila and Donuts. We appreciate that. Um, you didn't answer that one, Mike. You didn't answer it. You're lying. You are lying. You didn't answer it. You read it. You said, ha ha, thanks for the super chat. We got you. And they addressed a very important issue, is that they are not getting, they are not seeing the super chats being read. And that's what they did. They just ignored it. That is one of the most fucked up things I've ever seen one of these motherfuckers do. Okay? Is that is some shady shit. Not only did they ignore it, but they said, ha ha, thanks for the super chat. You're a piece of shit, Mike Rinder. No wonder people don't, are starting to not trust you. I wish they just knew it before. Cody Mac, I'll continue to support all of SPTV. I don't know the other side. None of my business. One survivor to another. You are heroes, and I love you all. Thank you. Oh Thank God, you. no, you're Keep not heroes. That, and we will learn, and we will grow, and we may they make they went mistakes. over. So you guys can go yourself over to this video. It's called um, what is this called? The change in the world. The 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 world. They are so arrogant. What do they call this shit? The change of the world. Something. Right, they call it something about the. They are so arrogant. They think that everybody in the world revolves around them. All right, hit the like button. Course correct and get back on the track, and that's essentially we're trying to do that the best as we can. At the end of the day, we're all humans like you guys are out there, and except um, for we're uh, trying to Claire. not be tunnel vision. We're trying to look at the bigger picture. I hope you guys can understand that, and I hope that you will respect that and that you will um <laughs> i mean that would be happens. about it huh? i don't think that scientology is going to update on the world that's right thousands of thanks for coming back Bo. that nope. um the, you know the changes have been made on our end what will happen is we will continue to or uh um ignore osa and we will continue to do oh my show. god and oh and that that was the one other thing that i wanted to bring up <laughs> so scientology this week started putting hate site ads for whoismarkheadley.com on the Blown for Good channel. Scientology is paying us to tell Scientology stories on the Blown for Good channel. I don't know about the other channels. It's that's that is that's kind of a own right there, dude. They're just telling you, hey, we're we 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 know what's up. We're putting our ads on your channel. And look at what you could do. Do you know that you could refuse those ads to be on your channel, but you let them play anyway because you're a cuck for the money. And you want the highest CPM rate possible. So he's going to leave those ads there because they're probably paying him higher CPMs than the other ones, which is, you know, with that, with those ads running in his videos, <coughs> he's getting a higher ad rate because those videos are in there. They own you, Mark. They're, they're deep dicking you, bro. Like these people don't know. Like he's just like, yeah, they did that. Like, <laughs> it's like such an own on Mark. He doesn't even realize he just got cucked by their money. And he could cut it off. He can go back into his analytics, back into his back end of his page and go, I don't want Scientology ads. But does he do that? No. Nope. And he knows damn well that he could do that. See, this is a lying sack of shit. But on this channel in particular, people have text messaged me and sent me screenshots of ads. Aaron was, I mean, Steve Mango was in the pre-chat here in this show today. Steve, where are you? Steve, I get a lot of weird messages, man. And I don't know what's you or what's not you or this or that or the other thing. I I've had fake Steve Mangos. Have you ever eaten a fake Steve Mango? <laughs> they're just, they're not the same as the uh, traditional mangoes. For whoismarkheadley.com, which is the Scientology hate site that they have up on me, um, on this channel. So, And you notice how he says about this site, it, be, he's not, he can't sue them to take it down because it's not false. If something's false on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, you can hire an attorney to have it taken off of a website. It's just a DCMA claim. Very simple. Me, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. There's no way Osa would be doing that if we weren't making a difference on their end. Yep. So I think we'll end on that. 
Um, thank you for everybody that tuned in. Um, thank you for everybody that um, that watched till the very end. And um, oh my God, they're taking for, Aaron's lines. <sighs> all the guys for understanding and for um, just hanging in there. We're just gonna see what happens, and we're gonna. <clears throat> um, we're going to keep doing the mission, and um, I'm pretty sure it's all going to work out, and uh, we will be successful in the end. And yep. we all appreciate your continued support. We really yes. do. We're very thankful. And in case I don't get another chance to say it, we wish you all an amazing Thanksgiving. Yep. Yes. Have a happy Thanksgiving. We She's like, because I'm going to have over the next 20 a lot of dicks in my mouth. Know that we have a lot of things to be thankful for. We I'm sorry, what? You guys can think of some things. <laughs> Did I just say that out loud? I'm thankful for this holiday season. Bitch. And, um, I hate these yeah, people. I think we're good. Thank you so Thank much. You Hi on Bye, subscribe. Kirsten Smith, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. It's not a bathroom stall, it's a hotel bedroom. Bye bye. Wristband and all. Yes. <laughs> that is is unreal so now you have seen both sides of this argument all right and i gotta tell you if you're not asking questions if your community if you're not start getting those refunds from the donations to the aftermath they can't be trusted you don't know where the money's going people aren't getting aftercare whether i like them or not at this point and don't give a shit whether they get aftercare or not they're not getting aftercare. Hit the like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much to all the new members. And for the people who gave the gifted memberships, we love you. We love money. And we love a like and a share. I got some sleeping videos coming up for you later. We're doing, what are we doing? 528 hertz today? Yeah, that's right. From Los Angeles, California. Like, subscribe, share this out. Let's go. Good night. Let's go. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay We'll call it the turkey bowl. And thank you for those who don't normally come here and being respectful. There's more to come. I got you. And I'm not scared. Let's do it. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last year. Yeah. Listen to me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. We might give Jeffrey a little Stay Thanksgiving Day present tomorrow. You move slow when I move fast. Bitch.